So this is the first time ever that we have devils in Singapore. Devils are endangered specifically because they suffer from a disease called transmissible cancer disease. It's a very serious disease, it's non-curable. Come here and take a look at our four beautiful girls. They're here specifically to be ambassadors for the species and to raise awareness for the plight of the species in the wild. The name was coined by the early settlers because they are black, right? So at night, people don't usually see them, but they get to hear them, the screeching and the scatterwalling and the, the hissing. So because the sound is there, but they don't see them, so they get to be called the devils. Well, it's neither a bear nor a dog. They are a group of animals called the marsupials. Marsupials are animals whose young develop in the pouch. So basically, the cartoonist was tasked to draw a character based on the Tasmanian devil. So he went to the zoo, but the devils have developed some form of abnormal behaviour. It spins around in circles. Hence, the character was developed in circular motion. But actually, they, they don't. We can't teach them tricks, but what we can do is we can give them enrichments. For example, tying meat to a tree to simulate them eating a carcass in the wild. Tasmanian devils store their fats in their tail. So if you see a Tasmanian devil with a super fat tail, that means they have had a good life. <laughs> they emit a pungent smell when they are threatened. Um, the smell is it's kind of like an oily, acidic smell. Even though we are tempted to color them, but we refrain because they have the bite. Although they, they look cute, but they're still wild, so we, re, we need to respect that. So they give birth to 20 to 40 young, but because they have only four nipples, uh, only three to uh, two joeys survive every litter. Their lifespan in the wild is between five to six years old. Uh, in human care, their lifespan can go up to six to eight years old.